world of Tang Blitzers and hopefully a few future Momrads. Hey, I'm Littlefinger, back today to share a little more knowledge with you. This time I'm going to be doing a full tank review on the Tier 4 Heavy B1 French tank. You can see it here in the garage. Uh, update yesterday, we've got a new little backdrop there with a movie projector. Um, neat little tank here. Biggest takeaway is you want to drive this like you are dancing on the disco floor. And I'll show you why in a little bit. Um, there's only one other non-premium heavy at Tier 4, and that is the DW2. Um, one of my favorite tanks to drive. Let's take a quick look at the tech tree at the new French line. Uh, you can see here um, basically a bunch of heavy tanks work their way up to the AMX 50B. I've had a great time playing all of these tanks so far, although uh, they just nerfed the hell out of the BDR, so um, haven't played it since then. So, so here is the B1 in Armor Inspector. I've got it currently set up as a shooter of an M5 Stewart, which is a light um, tier 4 tank. So same tier. Um, you can see a lot of red. There's a few places that are green in the front, um, the side of the turret, back of the turret, even the back here. Um, that's only a 58% chance of going through. So with a lower tier, especially the tier 3, um, they, this is what they're going to see. And this is why you want to dance side to side, is you want to make it very difficult for your opponent to be aiming for this spot or this spot on the front of the tank. So you're dancing side to side to side to side. Now you can't really do that against the upper tiers um, because they can pretty much penetrate you anywhere um, and which is why you want to play this tank completely different depending upon whether or not you're top tier or bottom tier. Okay so let's look at how I have this set up. You can see here no camouflage consumables, repair kit, multi-purpose and adrenaline, provisions, standard fuel, canned pate, and protective kit. Oh, those French. Um, ammunition. I am running 60 rounds of AP, 28 of APCR, and you will need this, believe me. And 17 rounds of HE. The good thing is that APCR is only 800 um, or 2 gold. Remember, you can change it here. Equipment. I am only running the gun rammer. Um, the aiming on this is very good, so I didn't see the need for the enhanced gun laying drive. Um, vents really don't add a lot. I mean, if you've got 66,000 credits you want to spend on this tank, um, but if your goal is basically to do well in it and move up um, and not keep the tank, probably want to save that. And so there really wasn't anything else that I thought worthy of uh, installing and spending credits on for this tank. Um, and I think I'm currently playing it at about an 85% win rate, um, dominating on being top tier and then struggling a little bit being bottom tier. Let me pull up the spreadsheet. Uh, we'll compare it to the DW. Okay, so our two heavies both have 600 points. You can see here the B1 has 60 millimeters of hull armor. That's the, actually the same for the front and the sides. The back is actually 55. Turret is 46 millimeters all the way around. Um, in comparison to the DW, the DW is 50 everywhere. Um, so hull armor is better, but the turret's a little bit weaker. The good news is that the turret is much smaller, so it's a little bit more difficult to aim at. Um, it does come in a little bit lighter than the DW with a bigger horsepower engine, which, um, although not reflected in the top speed there of 30 kilometers per hour once you get to the top engine, uh, where the engine really helps out here is almost 50 degrees per second on the Traverse. The turret is a little bit slower at 42.6 
and the gun depression there is really nice at minus 13 so the tank does perform well on hills um, view range is about the same for both of them terrain resistance is a little bit worse there than the DW um, moving down shell penetration and average damage are horrible compared to the DW there 66 uh, millimeters of pen on your AP uh, pretty much right there sums up why you, it's much better to be top tier than bottom tier most of the uh, most of the tier 5 tanks are going to be over 60 millimeters so you're going to need that Pramo 98 millimeters there um, on the APCR 60 damage per shot 75 with the HE I'm not even sure if I ever shot a HE round in this tank but uh, anyway rate of fire there is very good at 19.17 which gives you a fairly decent damage per minute of 1150 aim times really good there at three seconds and uh, the gun dispersion accurate gun 0.357 credit coefficient of 1.25 um, you can lose money in this tank uh, especially in the upper tier t battles when you're shooting most of that APCR so um, keep those in mind as you're playing this tank and uh, as I show you some of my gameplay alright here we are first game I want to show you on mines top tier I like to push the mine hill but not necessarily go up until I've determined if I've got support behind me if you go up without support you can get chewed up in a hurry um, so looks like some of the teams gone over to well one's gone over to base I'm just gonna push up here and, and see who we can see um, BT7 artillery uh, it's a pretty long shot for him to hit anything on the move like that from that sort of distance so we'll get a couple shots into him um, as he uh, carelessly goes through our team and uh, dies quickly so analyzing what's going on here we see we've got three TDs in the typical TD camping spot so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look see if we can't get some shots into any of them um, they're all on the move now I've been spotted I'm gonna pull up and go ahead and get rid of the SU um, take a shot from the martyr there and put one in on return so I felt like that was a, a good trade-off there to, to get rid of a tank to take a shot. Um, now you see I've switched over to APCR and I've got an, a, another B1 coming straight at me. You can see quite a bit of red here um, and notice how I'm going back and forth left and right just trying to make it difficult for him to get a shot in. You can see he's bouncing obviously not shooting APCR or not aiming very well um, but you can see I've gotten four or five shots in here to his one um, and he'll drop off unfortunately before I can finish him off and as I was in that encounter there we've got one of their guys sitting in base 60 seconds so I got about 40 seconds to get over there shouldn't be a problem the tank does move fairly well even at 30 35 kilometers per hour a20 does have some nice angled armor and I want to make sure I clear that clock so go ahead and just leave it on APCR here um, probably one of the most dangerous tier 4 tanks uh, with the amount of damage it can put out so we're three on three right now um, and you can see we've split the building here and my partner gets taken out there and so I am one on three right now who managed to take out the A-20. The T-82 was still spotted, so I know he's down here. Um, I'm going to run along the buildings here, so if he does come at me, um, I can try to use them for cover. So he spots up there. And this is the nice thing with this fast aiming gun and quick reload. Able to get two shots into him in pretty short order there. So three minutes left. No point 
um, trying to track down that martyr who's probably still in the, the spawn spot. So I'm just going to go to Cap and um, let him come to me. So to save a little time, I'll put this on 4x. It does take him a little bit of time to get up here. So I'm just trying to position myself um, to have some cover. I uh, figure he's going to come in one of those two alleys there. Patiently waiting here. And sure enough, he pops up on the left there. I get a shot in. I could probably have gone behind the building and, and saved a shot, but I know he can't take me out with one shot, so go ahead and just finish him off. Uh, four kills, Koblenoff metal here, and right at 1,254 damage. So top tier, you can really be a beast in this tank. So in contrast to that last game, I want to show this one on Port Bay, where I am the only tier four. They've got an AT2, a KV-1, a T1 Heavy, uh, M4. They've got some really big tanks over there for my little gun. Um, and so the play style needs to be completely different. Uh, team there calls to go left into the port. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to come up behind this hill right here, and I'm just going to let the game unfold a little bit. Let's see where they're at. Don't put myself in any danger. Um, and let my teammate push up, you know, while, while we figure out where I can get some shots in. So KV-1's been spotted here. He's obviously behind this brick wall. I'll go ahead and shoot it out. There's another set of walls there behind it. I'll shoot those out. Um, and then you can see that's all red. No point even shooting, um, on that KV. So we lose our Leo pretty quick, um, and we get rid of that KV. So I still haven't done any damage in the game yet, but uh, obviously haven't taken any hit points either. So um, now we've got tanks coming down the street here, so I've got to back up. Um, luckily he's on the move and he misses the first shot. Uh, and I've got some support there, the BDR, I think that is, right beside me. Um, so I've taken a couple quick shots there um, from the M4, so I really need to, to get into some cover here. So you can see I've stayed on the outskirts for the most part. Um, and we know they're in the base here. Clock's ticking. And uh, sure enough, there's another B1. APCR it, um, but he's not the one that's causing the, the base to go up. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and clear off the base. At least I think I did there. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, focus in on taking rid of that B1. They're distracted with the other tanks here. So I'm going to try to move up around them. And we've just got the AT-2 left. And, uh, you can see here, you know, APCR, I've got to shoot it at the bottom. It's the only place I can penetrate. Um, AP's not going to go in there. That's all red. So uh, get a nice shot in there that catches him on fire and finishes him off. Um, but you can see I, I didn't, I wasn't front line in that game. Um, just because just about all of those tanks can penetrate you. Um, and you don't have the penetration values yourself to uh, really return the fire. So 977 damage there with the one kill. It was a level two. But, uh, you know, other than the T-49 there, I was right up there in damage. To contrast that last game, I'm going to show this one here on Mirage. Uh, you can see I'm top tier. There's only two tier fours on either side, so I know I can be more aggressive on this one. Just want to do stay with the team. Don't want to go out on my own, uh, but I will go more towards the middle of the map in hopes that uh, I get more targets. Um, they can shoot at me, and uh, hopefully I can uh, 
deflect a lot of those shots with the, the nice armor on this tank. So first tanks to pop up there, SU-76. Um, I haven't been spotted until just now. He hasn't turned to look at me, but there's obviously someone else there behind him um, who uh, shoots me twice there, but both of those um, do not penetrate. So go ahead and move on. No point just standing there for someone I can't see. So uh, we've got the BT-7 pushing around. Um, looks like a couple of them there are pushing around. So I need to be careful and know that they're on my right there. Uh, but we've got this T-46 just showing enough of the turret there for me to be able to finish him off for kill number two. Um, three tanks now over on this side and now four. I am going to try my best to keep them moving backwards. Um, you can see I'm just pulling forward just enough to uh, get my shot off and then back up. T-28 is a tank that I do need to be worried about. He can penetrate me fairly easily. Um, but uh, not playing on a hill like that. He doesn't have the gun depression to, to shoot me. He's going to have to come down, which he does. And um, we are going to just jiggle like we're on the disco. Um, and then try to keep in front of him um, and keep angled. So finish him off. And uh, not sure what this guy's doing. He's running away from me. We're going to actually use our speed here to get a couple more shots in before he even gets aimed at us. And then, of course, when he does aim at us, we back down and uh, turn the front of the tank towards him. So kill number four there. And, uh, you know, we've only lost 140 hit points here. Sure enough, we're getting some nice shots into the side of the PZ-4 there. I want to get up the hill and get a nice angle on him for kill number five and finish that game off. And you can see they were all around me the whole game. Um, I was in the middle there and just deflecting shots left and right. And that's what you can do as the top tier uh, with this tank. It's super fun. Pump out the damage there, 1,248. Um, five kills, like we said, and... Uh, you know, just an overall fun game. That was 24 shots I took, all of them penetrated. And to show you that this tank is not always champagne dreams and caviar wishes, I'm going to show you this game where I am bottom tier. We've got uh, three of our five tier fives have a win rate less than 42 percent so both of the kvs immediately went left um, i guess that was just easier for them to move forward than to try to go up the hill so i instructed the team look we're going left i want to stay with my heavies um no point trying to take the hill without two kvs um so they all just come into base and camp here now of course one guy didn't get the message and uh, the Matilda is the uh, the first one out so um, we're down a tank already and our guys are just sitting out in the open in the middle of cap circle so you can kind of get an idea already how this one's gonna end up um, but I'm just waiting for this Anko to come around get a shot into him second shot he's uh, I don't know why he's just sitting here um, and really would have expected uh, more tanks to be aiming at him um, I get shot from the right um, so I'm gonna back up and uh, see what's going on and um, you know we've got a KV and an AT2 coming at me look at that that's all red nothing I can do aim for the commander's hatch there can't penetrate it um, so at this point Game's over. Um, time to go find a little bit uh, softer targets and see if we can't farm a little bit more damage before we die. Of course, the Leo's here. His engine's in the front, and uh, he'll get us a nice shot. We'll catch him on fire, which certainly helps with our damage. But, uh, you know, really at this point in time, there was nothing we could have done. Um, like I said, our top three tanks, two KVs and a T1, all had 42, 41 win rate. Um, and it just shows when you don't know what you're doing, it really does show. Um, 
and this tank cannot carry a tier 5 match by itself it's just not that good um, so take the good with the bad with this tank uh, you can see here look at this two zeros um, that's just horrible so anyway like I was saying take the good with the bad with this tank it's gonna dominate um, tier 4 tier 3's but uh, you're gonna struggle at tier 5 so um, as always I hope you found this uh, video informative and you learned something stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield get educated not fingered little finger out